Noreen Music, author, organizer, productivity mastery coach. Let me uh, break it down a little bit. Let me let me focus on the organizing first. Uh, what is it to be a professional organizer? What does that mean to you? What do you do? As a professional organizer, it depends on whether I'm helping somebody at home or helping somebody at work. But basically what it is that we do is we create more function, more flow. Uh, we break down barriers. We help people, you know, declutter, get organized and really decrease the stress in their lives. And how does that go hand in hand with being a productivity mastery coach? What is that? And how can the two come together being a productivity mastery coach and a professional organizer? So I help people at home and at work. And so at home, sometimes we have too much stuff. We need to declutter. Our homes are not as organized as they need to be. And so we, uh, we create systems and function uh, in the home. And then at work, the same can be true. Uh, you know, people have email clutter, so digital clutter, mental clutter. And, uh, and so I help people get organized in their work practices and really strengthen uh, their work practices. What are a couple of quick wins that you can think of when you're helping somebody get organized and then become more productive? What, what's the direct correlation and how have you seen it happen real time where you, you've helped organize somebody and all of a sudden like, wow, I'm getting stuff done way quicker. I'm way more productive. Yeah. So I have a number of clients. Uh, for instance, I have a, a client who's a, who's a research doctor and she runs a big team and she's a, an amazing scientist and she just really struggled with the work practices and keeping up on her emails um, and, uh, you know, delegating to her team and so on. And uh, she went through my productivity mastery program. She is now on top of her email. She's delegating well. She's, um, uh, you know, it has really impacted her work and uh, it's improved her credibility with her team. So it does make a big impact in uh, somebody's use of their time, how they manage their time, how they plan their work and their interactions with their team. Uh, so it, it makes a big impact. And I know you've authored a book, The Unexpected Entrepreneur. We'll talk about that in a second. But let me just go back to the professional organizing part. You're a member of an organization called POC, Professional Organizers in Canada. Uh, it's right around 500 members and it does go coast to coast. You've been a member for about five years. What is POC to you and why was it important for you to be a part of it? Well, professional organizers in Canada gave me a great education. So I got my trained professional organizer uh, with POC. It's also been amazing for uh, connections. So I've connected with organizers of all shapes and sizes and types across the country. Um, I'm very involved. I've been a volunteer basically since I, I joined POC. I now uh, sit as the vice president on the national board. And so it, it's just been a, a real game changer for my career uh, in professional organizing. And I, I love the association and, and what it does for organizers as individuals, but also for us collectively um, as an industry, uh, getting that get that that information out uh, to people that we actually exist and and how we can help for someone that may have no idea about professional organizers or that they even exist what would you want them to know just that it's not uh, professional organizing is for everyone uh, even if you feel like you don't have a, a pantry that's like the home edit or you feel like maybe you can't afford um, uh, professional organizing, if you are struggling and you really need some help, um, professional organizing is approachable and it is for everyone. And let me ask you about the book that I referenced earlier. Uh, the Unexpected Entrepreneur, currently reading that book. It is fabulous. I love it. How did you get led down that path to pen the book? Well, I have always been a writer. I, you know, I probably have books and books and books of journals and I love writing. And I wanted to share my story about how I went from, you know, 30 years in corporate Canada uh, and uh, became an entrepreneur 
And then I also wanted to really help and support uh, female entrepreneurs, small business owners. And the best way I felt to do that was to write a book. And so that's what I did. About a little more than a third of the way into the book. And there's some great stuff in there already. And it's already referencing stuff later in the book that I can't wait to get to. Uh, First thing, where can folks find the book? Where can they get it? So they can find it on Amazon. It's under uh, my name, Noreen Music, uh, The Unexpected Entrepreneur. Now you're here, make a difference while making a living. Uh, So they can find it on Amazon and uh, they can find me uh, and links to the book on my website at organizemyspacecalgary.com. And as kind of a teaser, if uh, someone is going, I should say when someone gets your book, what would be one chapter or one section that they must read? I would have to say the one chapter that they should read is the, the, the one all about weekly planning, weekly, daily planning and, and having a routine. I find that is um, one of the biggest issues that people uh, or a practice that people don't have that causes uh, an issue in their work is a lack of planning. So if they were to read one chapter, that would be the one I would suggest. It's fantastic. I've already taken away so many tips and I still have a bunch of book left to go. Uh, Noreen Music, thank you for doing this. Continued success. Thank you so much, Scott. 